Greetings all, Fanny here for Pisces' daily oracle message. Okay. Pisces, you have a card that I am not at all surprised you have because Pisces, being at the end of the wheel, have lived through the first 11 of the zodiac signs, are often some of the most highly empathic and highly psychic people. So for you to get empathic starseed is not at all surprising. Apologies, I had to clear my throat. Energetic starving, sovereignty, absorbing what is not yours. This is a constant issue for Pisces. My mother is a Pisces. My sister-in-law is a Pisces. So I understand how easily they're able to absorb energy that is not theirs. I could just walk into a room and mom is like, whoa, your energy, check yourself. And I, I do sometimes it's just like, I have to, I know that like, if I'm in a certain mood, I can't be around my mom because I don't want her to pick up on what I am feeling. And that is uh, a boundaries that we have had to find out with each other because I am very heavy in earth energy. All of my energy is bigger and louder and heavier than most other people because I am so ingrained in the earthly realm. And so that is one thing that we have to work out with each other to respect each other's boundaries. And boundaries is so important for you, Pisces. And if there are people around you that don't respect your boundaries, you need to remove them from your life because that is an energetic vampire. That is a leech. That is a narcissistic ego that doesn't want to bend and change because it's difficult for them or whatever the fuck it is. You are valuable. You are beautiful and you are divine and your energy is sacred enough to be protected as the with anyone else. So please, Pisces, do not lower yourself to someone else simply because they're oppressive or their ego is someone that you love. You want to be able to protect yourself and be aware that the people around you are serving your greatest and highest good and giving you unconditional love because that is what you deserve. You have earth pulsing, the pulse of the mother, slow down, time in nature. Erin consciously is what I call the human Schumann. She also calls herself that. She does this daily Schumann reports of the, what exactly that, the heartbeat of the earth and the energy coming from it. And that is an incredible thing that my mom and I have been using to get like a daily refresher and an understanding of what's going on with us as we are becoming more energetically sensitive. So if you are feeling just overwhelmed by the world in general and like everything is too much, you need to be able to slow down and take some time in nature. Sit by a stream on a rock or on a log and just look out at the water. Sit in the woods and plant yourself in the earth to have the mutual exchange with the mother so that she can remove that which does not serve you and give you the blessings that you have always been worthy of. We have We the Hathors, Deep Love, Mother's Milk, Birth is a Portal. And this doesn't have to be just the birth of a child. This could be the birth of a business, the birth of a book, the birth of a new energy and a new enterprise, or simply the birth of a new you. And the Mother's Milk, the di deep divine love that you've poured onto yourself will come in reciprocal reciprocal energy of the universe because they see that you're valuing yourself. They see that you're honoring yourself and they will return that to you with blessings of abundance, compassion, and companionship. The cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer with your words, with your actions, being aware of the energetic exchange. What you give is what you get. Karma, law of threefold, whatever you want to call it, it's real. And the more you're aware of it and the more you consciously make the choice to become everything you're meant to be, the more beautiful your life will become. Portals will open for you. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. There is so much coming in for you, Pisces. You have to be in a place to receive it and to be open to it. Child of the cosmos, the universe's intelligence lies within you. You are blessed and connected and divine so please do not look at yourself as anything less tell yourself that you are worthy of love tell yourself that you are worthy of the position of authority of the position of leadership of the position of creation and whatever it is that you are working on tell yourself that you are worthy of this that you deserve this that it is already yours spell it into existence because your very existence is magic 
think about it. The process that happened from connecting your soul to this vessel is magical in and of itself. So please never forget that you come from the stars, that you are of heaven and earth combined into one being to be the unconditional love that has always meant to be here on this world. And it's so difficult these days to be that because our television programs just show us negativity. Our society tells us that it's weak to be so, but it is only because when you are in the energy of unconditional love and you need nothing else, you cannot be controlled, you cannot be confined, and you cannot align to what they do because it is not where your soul is meant to be. And it's incredibly powerful of you and incredibly wise of you to trust in yourself and in the spirit realms. And I'm so proud of you and everything that you have done, Pisces. So please remember that your energy is sacred and you don't have to carry the burden of everyone else around you, especially if they are your family, your children, your spouse. It's not your job to carry their burden, to carry their energy. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites and extremes of life. These relationships might be karmic relationships, but they are temporary and they will leave once their energy has been spent. Once the karmic relationship has been fulfilled, they will leave because you are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of peace and love that you don't have to fight to be heard for, that you don't have to fight to keep. If it is struggle for you to hold on to them, then you need to let it go because it's not meant for you, my love. And something more beautiful and true to who you are will come in when you release that which does not align. Have a beautiful day, Pike.